So hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tarana. I am very happy and uh, humbled and proud to um, be with this lady today. She is one of the respected mentors and coaches and business owner in our digital community. And I am not going to spoil anything about it. I am kind of a little bit ner nervous to uh, be with her tonight. So I am going to ask her to introduce herself so that I don't miss anything. And so without further ado, Marites, would you like to introduce yourself? And probably let us know where you're from and where okay. do you live now? Okay, thank you so much for inviting me in your Tarana. Let's get um, to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I am Marites from Ontario, Canada. I am a Filipino, and I came in Canada uh, under Living Caregiver Program in 2007. I was a caregiver uh, for 10 long years, and then when I was on maternity leave, I found this amazing business, and from then on, I never went back being a caregiver, but I became uh, an online business owner while, do, while taking care of my own kids. I have two girls. They are seven and a half years old and turning four years old, turning four next month. So you mentioned uh, you were a caregiver before you became a business owner. How did you find out about this business? Okay, yes. I found out this business through social media. I was on maternity leave before when I found this business. My daughter was, my elder, younger daughter was 11 months old at the time and my maternity benefit is coming to end. So I have to find something where, well, or what I have to find something that I can do just at home. And then there you go. I found this amazing business that gave me the flexibility to be with my two girls while earning at home. So, so like, I've been in the business for uh, three years already. Wow, three years. Oh, I hope when I cross that three years, I would be like you too. <laughs> I heard so much about you, oh, you and, for um, sure. <laughs> and um, I said, oh, one day yeah. I would be like them too. So, but I know it's kind of a long ways to go. And uh, it's, um, it's how to say it, we work hard for our future, but the future is right there for us, just like you from being a caregiver and now a uh, business owner and no longer taking care of other kids and just being with your kids and yeah. the comfort of your own home, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, so Marites, when you were still working, how do you compare your world before as a caregiver and your life now as a business owner? Okay, when I was still working, because that's the job where, that's the uh, first job I, that I got into when I arrived in Canada, uh, I was so lucky anyway that I got a, that God has given me a very generous employer, you know. So I was so busy doing eight ten hours every day, and then I didn't have more. I didn't have enough time for my family. But right now, since I have this online business, I manage my own schedule. I can be with my girls. 24-7, you know, family time is precious. So we have to make the most out of it. So I'm very thankful that uh, this business allowed me to be with my girls, especially now that we're in a situation of pandemic. I don't have to go out, you know, uh, to work outside. Rather, I would be, I just, I, I, I'm at home taking care of my own kids. Caregiver is a nice job and it offers a great salary too. But 
I told to myself when I had my second child, I already have two, I told to myself, I have to think something. I have to, since I already have enough experience being a caregiver, I want to apply that for to my very own kids. And thank God, I found this amazing business where you, you can do it anywhere at the to becoming a full-time mom and also doing this business on the side. Yeah, that is really being being at home with your kids, especially those growing years is very, very, very important for us parents. Oh, yes. so Marites, what can you uh, what can you advise to people like you who um, have young kids or even for those people who are looking for something to better their life, not only for themselves, but for their family as a whole and for the future? What can you advise them? Um, you know what, guys, I would say it's better. It's still better to have a plan B. Uh, even you have a good job, a, a great paid job, it's still better to think of having a plan B, plan B, you know, backup income in case something happened, you know, knock on the wood. At least you have this backup income that you already started, you know. Uh, based on my experience, okay, I took the leave of faith in August 2018. Okay, and myself right now is very thankful about that action. Because if I didn't take the life of faith in 2018, what, where am I right now? I don't know. I might be going back being a caregiver or working in the store while coming home. I have only a few hours for my kids. Unlike right now, you know, I have more time with my family. Think of your wife. For me, me, my why, my reason why uh, I started this business is because of my kids. I want to be with my kids. Since I'm, I have enough experience, as I, I said before, I want to apply that to my very own kids, you know. Um, and also, this business, of course, it's not a get it scheme that you as any actor or in a couple of months or so it takes effort also it takes dedication time you know and inspiration motivation to do the business so i would advise having a plan b plan b is a great option for us you know and um just take because if you don't take action the dreams is just a dream so we just make our dream into a reality this is for us because this business offers financial security too in the future. You know, you can save for your retirement. And the best part too, for us parents, this business, we can leave a legacy for our kids. We can, we can transfer this to, to our kids when they are at legal age. So that's the best part too. And also this business, as I said, you can do it anywhere, anytime you want. I went back home for an unplanned vacation in 2020 before the lockdown started. And good thing we have this business that uh, that was able that paid off our travel expenses. So you know what, guys, um, I advise that think of your reason why you wanted to have a change in your life. And you know, it all started by checking out the website. If you could um, show them your website, Catherine. We, I, it all started by putting my name and email address on my mentor, mentor's website. And that's all began. That all began all the, uh, the success that I'm having right now. It's because I took the leap of faith three years ago. Okay, guys, you heard her. Plan B is very important. The world that now is crazy, we don't know what the new normal is, but having a plan B is not a bad idea, especially if that plan B will give you more time to your family, will give you more freedom to do what you want. Of course, it takes, as Marites mentioned, it takes hard work, it takes patience, it takes perseverance, but the payoff is very great. 
So Marites, thank you, thank you so very much. Uh, would you like to tell them your website, Marites? Okay, guys, my website is www.maritasalam.net. Uh, you can also register to Catherine's website. Can you please let them know your website, Catherine? Yes, it's catherineednaboyet.com. And we will put both Marites and my website on the description of this video so that you can visit either of the website. It doesn't matter. We're business partners. It all boils to a point of our plan B and what our wives are and what we wanted for the future of ourselves, our children, our family, and family doesn't only mean mom, dad, brother, sister, but extended family, especially to us Filipinos. We have a big family. Family is not yes. just mom and dad. It's just like aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. So guys, I hope you check our you website and check that 90 minute uh, webinar. It changed Marites and my life, and I hope it will do yours too. So thank you very much, guys, and see you at our next episode of Tarana.